The first step to scanning with a ferro arm is to plug the HD cord into your computer and turning on the scanner. The second step to scanning is opening Geomagic. This is a software that is specifically designed for the scanner. Third step when you've opened Geomagic is to press scan on the menu bar. This will take you to the capture page and there you can actually scan your object. The fourth step is to go into advanced options and adjust the settings depending on your object. The fifth step is to press scan. The sixth step is to rotate all the joints of the scanner. Once you've done this, you are ready to scan. Step seven is scanning all visible sides of the object. When scanning, it's good to go at a steady pace and in one direction. When scanning, make sure that the laser lines are aligned and the light is green to make sure that you are capturing good data. Step eight is creating a new scan group, flipping your object and scanning what you didn't see in the very first group. Step nine is repeating step eight as necessary to capture all sides of the object. Step 10 is saving your scan data as raw scans. Step 11 is cleaning out everything that is not your object from your scan data. Step 12 is doing a global registration on each individual scan group. Step 13 is manually registering all scan groups together. Step 14 is doing a global registration of the aligned scan groups at the same time. Step 15 is breaking all the scan groups. Step 16 is taking all the individual scans and putting them into one group together. Step 17 is doing a global registration of the one scan group. Step 18 is saving as aligned and globally registered. Step 19 is cleaning out bad data. Step 20 is merging. Step 21 is removing holes and spikes. Step 22 is applying the mesh doctor. Step 23 is remeshing your object. Step 24 is applying the mesh doctor one more time. Step 25 is saving as final. Here is the final product of scanning and processing.